I can't tell you the number of times that I have people say, I want to use podcast interviews as a way to sell something, as a way to make money. And when I dig deep and say, well, what is it you're selling? They say, well, I don't have anything to sell. <sighs> really? Hi, this is Kathleen Gage with Power Up for Profits and Plant-Based Eating. And I work with experts who want to get a lot of visibility with podcast interviews who want to use that platform to position their expertise, to reach more of their market, and to generate revenues. And yet, I've talked to people, I've seriously had conversations with people who say, I want to use podcast interviews to make money, and they have nothing to sell. They don't have a product, they don't have a service, and yet they think they're going to sell. It reminds me of many, many years ago, I actually traveled from Berkeley, California to the West Bank of Israel. And one of the stops was in Yugoslavia. And I went into a grocery store in Yugoslavia and I was shocked at what wasn't on the shelf. Uh, the shelves had very little product to sell. And obviously it was hard for the shopkeeper to make any money because there was nothing to buy. And it's the same with what you're doing with podcasts. If you're looking for opportunities, fantastic, because truth be told, Podcast interviews are one of the best ways to reach more of your market in the shortest period of time. However, you need to have something that you can talk about. Now, you don't use podcast interviews to directly sell. I think that's a huge mistake that some people make. They're, they're using it uh, kind of like standing on a soapbox and buy this, buy this, buy this. That's not what podcast interviews are meant to uh, be for. What you use podcast interviews for is to really position your expertise, to share stories, to teach something, to have conversations, but not to blatantly sell. Yet, when you're really good at what you do, when you are compelling, when your message is compelling, people are going to go to your website, they're going to go to your Amazon page, and they're going to want to buy something. And you have to have something for them to buy. So there's some prep work that you need to do in order to really do well with podcast interviews. And once you determine what it is you're going to offer, once you have your website visitor friendly, once you have all your information in place, go full board ahead on getting opportunities to be on podcast shows. And one of the best ways to do that is to use a directory that helps you to cut your uh, your research time by 90 to 95%. I created just such a directory. It's called the Directory of Podcast Interviews. Hmm, pretty original. But right now we have 230 listings that took us lots of time to find. And those shows were shows that I've been on, they're shows that clients have been on, they're shows that we've researched in a number of genres, whether it be self-help, sales, marketing, um, writing, fiction, um, intuitive eating. I mean, there's a number of different topics that we focus on. Art uh, is in there. And the directory is available by clicking the link below. All you need to do is click the link below this uh, podcast or this uh, YouTube uh, video, and you'll get the link to the directory. Um, I encourage you, look at that, think about what your time is worth, and really go for it. And in order to make money with podcast interviews, you have to be good at interviewing, you have to be consistent with what you're doing, and you have to have something to sell. This is Kathleen Gage with Power Up for Profits and Plant-Based Eating for Health, encouraging you, go out, get in front of your audience, get in front of your market, do it in a big way, and live the life you're meant to live. Have a great day.